Scored four goals for them. She's a really direct player, really strong runner with the ball, and she is their outlet. You can see here, also coming back from, from the Gold Cup with Canada, top goal scorer there. She's in form, and I think she's going to be a really, really important player here for them. And then for the opposition, we're going to have a look at this player, Kate McCabe. She's on the left side, her preferred side. We're going to see a lot more of her getting up the line, supporting Lacasse on that left-hand side. She likes to play against Aston Villa. She has the most goal involvement against an opposition in the whole of the WSL against Villa. And she does enjoy this game. Well, after a, uh, another delay to kick off in this game, Due to uh, travel disruption, we are finally ready to get underway. Before kickoff, though, the players will take the knee. A reminder that there is no room for racism or discrimination. And away we go. A chance for redemption. Come into the starting eleven. Leonard and Manon will strike, and she saw a little bit of space opening up on the other side. An elite who didn't have it quite covered yet. It's really good pressure from Arsenal. Can see their intent already. Lovely ball. Here's Beth Mead finds Nelson Monham. That's the cross and looking for try and double up with the wide players. Livery and was hoping to try and find Isaiah towering above, but it came out to Kim Little who, who hit it, but not with too much power, and it's out for another corner. You know, both of these teams are are very good at set piece. Elite. Who sends it forward looking for Adriana Leon, who is making the run. Zinsba, not in this case, it was a brilliant ball in behind for Lacasse. Here is Lacasse, who was trying to find Leonard Samarnum, who made herself available. Run back though by Daly. Charge down here by Adriana Leon. Getting some points on home soil. They've got one of the worst forms on the way through, but the defence had the answer so far. Picked out to Kim Little, who took a strike. Just got away from Pelova there, but it came back to, to Beth Mead. Still Beth Mead. And it took the block and it will go the... Uh, over and uh, Russo will try and chase it down, but it was spotted quickly by an elite. Really nice play. Here's Ebony Salmon. As options arriving as well. Well, they're claiming. Was there a handball? Nothing given by the referee, but there were complaints by a single time over there because there's so much space. Only Fox looking for the cross. Not to Marnham with the. Here's Beth Mead. Looking for the space, and the header was there quickly by Alessia Russo. Not too much power behind it to really test San Elite. position to try and make the most of this as the delivery arrives talk about that back post run it's Pelova that's going to the back post most of the time Moses hits out the pass and there's a bit of space opening up here Heavenly Salmon and just like that Aston Villa take the lead Heavenly Salmon who scored last weekend, she's on the score sheet again. And Villa strike first. Unbelievable. Unbelievable for all the possession. All the touches that Villa have had in Arsenal's defensive third. But it's the ball from Jordan Nobbs. To really test that Villa defence, but they look for the answers. Today they're looking for Lacasse, this is Leonardo Monum and... Was very Great quickly block blocked. Anna Concentration, no mistakes. Out to Lacasse, who gets the cross in, was looking for Russo. Ebony Salmon again, and she's going all alone. Has to try and get away from William McKay. And across again, and Pelova with a looping head. Fox. Still Fox. Well, she had to go from distance, and he wasn't far away. Yeah, it wasn't a bad effort. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, there goes the half-time whistle, and it's Aston Villa, the home side, who are ahead, all thanks to Ebony Salmon.
her third goal of the season. They had one opportunity and they took this season. And they will be hoping that that chance. He was able to pick out the pass to Lacasse, who gets it across. Looking for Beth Mead. Bonham, who plays a one-touch off Russo, who's done fantastically well to find Lacasse. He was there, and the chance still alive, and to drop in to get the ball. Here's Beth Mead, who uh, she clipped just on the edge of the area. The referee doesn't think so. Oh, I'm not sure about that. I mean. There aren't many arguments from Arsenal with them not giving the ball away. And giving away here, and it's Russo! It takes the strike in on the rebound! It's Kalova! Arsenal have found a way back, and they are level! Ball is given away by Jordan Nobbs, unfortunately, and just too many Arsenal players there just queuing up too much time for Kalova to put that away. And Leek does reasonably well. Villa defence. Now McCabe. To get a cross and a header from Russo. And yeah, that's what Russo wants. She's just indicating that to Katie McCabe. Over, finds the passer now. Nelson Marnham looking to lift it over. And... It's a cross and... It... Find it. Meet. Come on, him. Oh! Lined by the woodwork. And Alessia Russo wasn't able to follow it up. Oh, well, that was brilliant play. On it. Now Ford puts it back and looking for Kolova. Get the shot away. Catley. And he plays it in. The head is there. Oh, it's a good one as well from Willie Moore, but what a save. Great save. Just a little bit too easy for Arsenal to get this ball. Oh, we've got it back again in Mead. Well, they are getting... First half, Villa did so well to stop that ball. And Wayne Russo looking for Mono. He lifted over. Frida Leonard and Mono with a brilliant chance to try and take the lead for Arsenal. Options, you know, some Marnham trying to get in there as well, and so is Russo. He goes down, and the referee says no penalty. Here's Pelo. There's so many options in the box for Arsenal, and one more. Mead. Pass it over and straight. Going away again. Here's a chance to Ford. From close range, pushed away by Anna Leeds. Well, that's the save of the game so far, but it comes from her. In the way again, denying Arsenal. Chance to uh, get the uh, lead, and another brilliant save this time. Pelova looking to get her second. Well, what an evening Anna Leeds is having in goal at the moment. Get across the goal really quick there. Another chance. And the header was the stronger second half for the visitors. Russo lifting it in, and there's the header again. Another. Brilliant stop, Cena Black Stenius this time denied. Oh, great ball. But it's a turn and trying to get the strike, and here is Catley, who does the save. Still Fox. That's it across and looking for the header again off the crossbar this time. It's well, really they will try play. and they'll try and they'll try. Our... Rusa. Did it over and found its way through. who have had so many chances, so many opportunities, especially in this second half, finally get their rewards, and they're ahead. Just look at those celebrations. Look what it means to them. They'll have tried to frustrate Arsenal. They got through. For Arsenal. All the way, and Boxenius took a slip. She still goes. Oh! What a finish! Cena Blackstenius, who was able to squeeze it through. And Arsenal have got a third. Aston Villa are not happy. Their complaints to the referee. But Arsenal won't care. They've extended their lead.
Yeah, you can see Villa complaining and saying Blackstinius handled the ball. Here's Blackstinius again. We're going through and Russo was arriving. It's Caitlin Ford. Still Ford! Oh! Well, Arsenal back to winning ways. And that will feel like a big three points for Jonas Edeval as well. And after Aston Villa took the lead in the first half, it was an equaliser right at the start of the second half from Victoria Pelova, who made no mistake. Lotta Bob and Moy was able to put Arsenal into the lead and then to wrap up all.